Hello, this is Mike Hells, the European Product Manager for Topworks. Today we're going to look at the Heart7 switch box, how to configure and how to configure the parameters using a Trex. First of all, you need to remove the cover off the device. This will expose the USB cable and also the connection that we have to the Heart7. Check the priority is correct with the red label to the positive. Take the USB power bank, connect the USB power bank, switch the power bank on. As this is out of range, you will see a diagnostic light flashing because it's over 100% open. Moving it back, you can see the range. You're able to scroll through the different parameters. It'll give you the temperature, the hysteresis. You're able to set the calibration. At this point, we're doing the two point calibration. We're selecting the valve at zero. Now we're selecting the valve at open. As you can see, it's now fully configured. With the USB connection, what you're also able to configure is a five point calibration and some of the parameters that you're able to see, such as temperature. You're also able to set the hysteresis directly with the selection menu as shown. Please ensure that the configuration is set up correctly with the red wires to the positive and the red wire connected to the red wire on the tracks. As this is a real time video, the Trex does take a little bit of time to boot up, so please be patient. Once it's set up, we're going to select the field communicator. While the field communicator is loading, there is no connection at the current moment in time, so we must select the heart connection and connect the device. We're going to require power from the device, so select yes to use the power from the device. We're connecting the transmitter. So as you can see at the moment, the valve position is 96%. The graphical display displayed on the tracks is similar to that of the AMS setup. So people familiar with the AMS will recognize the graphics. The connection to the Heart7 device is good. We're now polling the device. So you can see the analog output is at 19.362 milliamps. And the position is the same as graphical display at 96%. We've now moved it back so we're now at minus one percent and that's why the uh, indicator light is flashing if we move the valve to 21 percent we can see on the ams tracks the resulting analog output in percentage and the analog output in milliamps again at 59 percent we'll see that the ams tracks is refreshed and now we have the same information as that we have on the Heart7 device. So looking through the different areas that we have on the service tools, we're able to have a look at the alerts, set the variables, 
look at the trends, look at the maintenance, and we're just going to skip through some of the variables that we can see on the treks. So this is displaying on what's the limit switch one is displaying, which is open. We're also able to look at the alerts and set the alerts. So you can see some of the other device variables there, stroke time, position, dwell times, <clears throat> the temperature of the device. <clears throat> 